<laughs> what is up, fragrance family? It's been a while. Um, last video you've seen that I've uploaded was maybe the summer scents that I would recommend you to try. And we had our special guest before. It was Julian Sihuko. But right now, I have been tagged really late by Mr. Amoy Pilanian, Mr. Armin. So if you can see this, you're tagging late. But, well, I'm doing this for you and the Fragrance family. For you, the viewers, so let's get this started. First scent that I have here, or for life, for the heat, high heat summer, we have here Invasion Bar Bar by Parfums and DCA. And as you can see, I only have a decant of this. The bottle is really, really expensive, but what you're getting from that bottle is a really gorgeous lavender mixed with some vanilla, a lot of powdery notes. Really fit for the summer. I think they also have viol violet leaves uh, in here. And I want to thank Mr. Mark Romero for providing me this. I think I had one of these decants. I think it was a 3 mil. And I've used it maybe, you know, just twice per year. That's how precious this one is. So if you get your hands on this, you'll be having the best, if not one of the best, barbershop scents out there. And let's go to my second fragrance for life. And for my second, as you can see, I do have a lot of backup bottles of Narciso Rodriguez EDT for him. One of the best, if not, in my perspective, the best Fougere in the game right now. Even with the niche ones, indies, designers, cheapies, drugstores, this one ticks all the boxes for a fantastic Fougere. Now what does this one smell like? It smells like patchouli, really wet. Soily patchouli. We also have this uh, violet leaves, crisp violet leaves, wet violet leaves. Um, we also have this pure musks in here. And at the base, we have the sweetness of the amber playing with all of those elements. So, this has been my top two fragrance for life, Fougere. Let's go on to my third fragrance for life. So as you can see, this one is my third choice. This one is for the fall, and it's Gucci Envy. As you all know, OG, hard to find, really rare, high prices online, but this one is worth every penny. Why? Spicy, gingery, it's a very warm, incense vanilla. To be honest, I don't know any other niche or indie or drugstore fragrances that smells quite like this. This gives you an aura being say a boss or being a boss uh, this one is what I'd like to categorize as the alpha male fragrance so this is my number three let's move on to my last choice and for the last one as you can see it's good satin moon x straight left part one even though we don't have winter here in the Philippines but in the coldest of days this is what I would wear and here's the bottle now this one, as you can expect, very high quality, very jammy vanilla, very dreamy oud. The oud is just in the background. What is on the front is this sweet, almost fig, prune, prune type of vanilla. It's, it is that sweet, lasts really long, performs really well, be it rainy days or the coldest of days. And that has been my top four for life. I don't know if this would change next year. Let's see. But for now, I'll be tagging Miss Arlene from Delicious Delights. I hope you can see this. I'm tagging you. This has been my top four for life. And as usual, these are just my recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. At the end of the day, you do you. Thank you. Cheers. really lovely long-lasting vanilla also with the <laughs> <laughs> shit what camera set <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys and girls yes <laughs> <laughs>